Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, if you're new here. And today I'm having a really spontaneous trip out to a new thrift shop near me. Um, so I got tagged in this by a family friend on Facebook. And essentially it is a new thrift shop that's opened up near me. I think how it works is... I'm just realizing what my purse down says that um they have a cash for clothes thing next to it so i assume they buy people's clothes and then like sell them on um so that's how it works but it's all second hand so i thought we'd pop down it's about 20 past three and it closes at five i never go to things in the evening i'm always like a, like a morning go to things um so i'm like are they gonna be open like yes it does say that well hopefully um so i will show you what i'm wearing i'm wearing my red leather blazer from used and loved well got from ebay but via used and loved this vest top i think was just from mind or i don't think it, this was it was from a charity shop charles is a hannah's bag from dog's trust in brentwood and i'm gonna wear my new jays which are from the aguk i think um they were 26 pound they're from brighton um so let's go okay i've made it this is the shop um it's in a garden center that's not too far away from me let's go in over to voice note amy as the shop was really quiet i didn't want to be obnoxiously chatting through all my finds in here but i thought i would just do a voiceover to show you what i found loved this denim blazer do i regret not getting that a little bit it was so nice they also had a whole section for cowards and dresses this cowards were pretty funky i think it was a skirt and a jumper which was quite fun um they were changing around the shop when i was there um so things were a little bit hickety pickety i loved the laundry section that was so pretty and also this black little cami dress was so nice love a nighty wish i was brave enough to start them for a night out and um, they had quite a few pajamas so definitely gonna be heading back there if i need a onesie or some pjs loved these candle holders thought they would go great in my room but i did leave them behind because i'm just trying to be good and not buy so much love these trousers i thought this would be quite a nice look for work again i did leave them behind i didn't actually come home with anything i'm trying to be restrained um these linen trousers were gorgeous um i loved this funky top and of course i spotted some amy green which i had to take a video of and um, there was quite a good selection of sizes actually which is really really nice to see these were all well, some of the dresses I had on offer. Thought this dress would be perfect for like a wedding guest look. They also had some fancier dresses, sort of kind of full length um, evening dresses, which were really, really nice, and some more casual ones too. I loved this brown leather jacket. Thought that was amazing. It's such a good price. Also love this denim waistcoat, but you'll see later on, I have got one already. Loved this brown leather blazer and brown leather skirt. I'm really feeling the brown leather. I was debating on getting that skirt um and also really liked this red top wish it was a dress though and finally this leather blazer was really cute and also these boots apologies i didn't speak it was really quiet in there it was like just me most of the time so i feel like rude than like looking out the camera and sort like narrating what i'm seeing but i'll do a voiceover on the footage which you would have just seen that was really good i went on the day they're restocking and kind of switching over their stock so that she said there's not as much out there as like there normally would be um but it's interesting i'm intrigued to see what it's like when it's not restocking um and just see like more stock but they had really reasonable prices there was that brown leather skirt i was looking at it was like four or five pounds it's actually really reasonable kind of it definitely felt like charity shop prices which is great because i feel like when people are buying to resell you're like how much markup am i going to get but i actually feel like the prices were really reasonable and um, they had a halloween section which is really fun um so yeah very good i'm gonna go home now and um, i'm not sure what else i will film i might film you know some other bits today um but yeah let's go home before i go home Spotify have now got audiobooks, which Penny told me about, which has literally changed the game for me. Um, there's been a couple of books I've been wanting to read for ages, but I just am not getting the time to read at the moment. There's also a couple of books I own that I haven't had a chance to read that I might look up and see if they're on Spotify. So I'm reading, well, listening to the Jeanette McCurdy 
glad my mum died book which has been on my list for ages um sounds a bit of a crazy name um but yeah it's a lot of people have read it and so it's really good so i'm listening to that at the moment and um, which i think will be my listening to on the way to work and on the way back until i finished it so i'm gonna drive home now listening to that um but yeah public service announcement audiobooks on spotify this is a game changer i am back home and i remembered i went shopping the other day and i didn't show you what i got that feels like some sort of crime to me. So I thought I would show you. And actually, funnily enough, me and mum went shopping in Wickford. We were going to go to that shop. Didn't realise it didn't open on Mondays. And then decided to go charity shopping in Wickford. So that's what we did on Monday. It's Thursday I'm filming this. But I did pick up two pieces. And I thought I would show you. Both of them were from the Helen Rollison Cancer Charity. Um, I don't know of any other of their shops they may have more and um, they're one in wickford and then a sale row outside which everything was half price so i believe both these items came to four pounds um so the first thing is this denim waistcoat that has no tags but one to say its size and it's actually funny because me and hannah were talking about um denim waistcoats the other day it's got kind of a light watch patch that kind of goes over your boob um but i think this is really cute it is slightly snug so if i want to do it up it's definitely going to give me some sort of lift but i actually really quite like that as i think it'd be quite cute to wear on a night out by itself with some funky trousers but essentially it's just a little waistcoat and i thought this was really cute i probably will wear it open over dresses and things like that and um, but equally for a night out i have the option that i could do it up and um, would probably need to wear a bra that kind of flattens my boobs down a little bit because it is got to be a bit snug um and the only thing is if i do it up could just, anyone know how to kind of stop that well then you get kind of the little flappy bit in your armpit i don't know how to stop that um but it's really cute i can wear it open over dresses but do always think i could do it up and wear it like that and i think it's really cute i actually was gonna wear this today and um, then i thought i might need a jacket so i put on and my red leather jacket instead but i really love how these sort of items can dress up an outfit make it look a bit more funky than it already is um so yeah i think this is really really cute and the last thing i picked up was again from that same charity and i'm not sure how i feel about this i must have i tried it on when i had like no hair and makeup on i was, wasn't feeling my best um but this is originally a boohoo number it's actually still got its tags on and this was yeah two pounds and it is just this like faux leather corset style bandeau top and it just looks a bit big um which i must admit i'm kind of shocked at because these sort of things aren't normally big on me um i'll insert a try on clip but yeah it just looks a little bit big um but i do still think i could wear it um also i'm imagining for this which is something i don't normally do you guys know i'm not great on layering which is something i am trying to change our friend penny has i think it's a black leather kind of strapless corsety style top and she layers it on top of dresses shirts i always see her style it for work with like funky trousers a shirt and then this over the top just to kind of give her some shape and it looks so nice so i do think i'm going to style it try and style it like that i do also always think though a corset over a shirt gives pirate to me and I, i'm not anti looking like a pirate but i'm just not sure but um and also it's a color i always say i'm not sure on me i think it's light enough that it's not that kind of awkward in between beige i don't think it suits me but i do think with tan this would look really cute and i quite often do have some sort of color if not can always spray it on um, it's got this like sticky bit here to help it stay up um but yes please let me know what you think of this in the comments but please be nice um i can donate it or sell it on um if i don't get much wear out of it but i think it's something i'll keep for like, the festive season um where i'm probably gonna be going out a little bit more see if i wear it and then if not i can donate it but i do think this is the sort of thing i can wear to the pub i can wear out for dinner i do really struggle with tops um and finding ones i like but i do think this is really cute and um, it's just the shape potentially also it's something i could if i do think i would wear it but it's a little bit too big get taken in slightly um but yes that is the final thing so thank you for coming on this little thrifting journey and i thought i'd add on a haul in the end because i forgot that i hadn't shown these pieces um life has been really 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 hectic this week especially i've had a headache for the last couple of days where i'm just stressed and i've had many uh stress and cry just because life has been really busy work has been busy and life is busy i'm on tent hooks when this baby's gonna arrive and my sister's baby i'm not pregnant um 
and I feel like life is just really hectic and busy which is great I feel like I had a cold that I didn't really recover from fully because I was on the go and couldn't stop um but yeah I feel like life is slowly returning back to normal I've got a couple more weeks of things being really busy and then like life should get back to normal and um, I went to a fashion show on Tuesday which is very exciting and I desperately need to decide what I'm gonna wear because that has been my dream forever and lots of this stuff I'm doing is like dream level stuff I spoke at a conference today which has been something I've wanted to do for ages and um, like public speaking things like that and I got invited to speak on a panel which unfortunately I can't get to um it's like really really big exciting life things are happening um and i'm just hoping i can keep up with everything but thank you so much for watching today's video um i thought i'd go on a ramble just in case i'm not i am going to try and stick to my upload schedule as much as humanly possible i don't think i've ever missed it and i'm not planning on missing it um but if content feels a little bit hickety bickety that's probably probably why but thank you for watching please subscribe if you're not already we're actually growing really quickly on here which makes me really happy because i do really love this platform and being able to show like not only just like vlogs sort of got like the memories but also things i'm buying and all that sort of thing so thank you for subscribing and i will see you in my next one bye